Good morning, folks. Welcome to Droning On Live. And this really is good morning for a lot of you. Over in the US, it's going to be very, very late at night. Hey, Henry Robotic in the chat. But we've got some good news, and I thought this was worth getting out there pretty quickly. Hey, Matthew Baca, great username. So basically, there's a guy on Twitter who is called Jesper, Jesper Ellens, and I highly recommend you go and follow this guy on Twitter because unlike some other leakers, this guy genuinely provides unique content. He's not just resharing other people's leaks. And right from the outset of this new product being announced, he's been leaking stuff. Now, some of you don't want to look at leaks. Some of you really don't care. Some of you want the excitement of not knowing what's going on. But it's a little bit like trying to avoid knowing what happens at the end of Lord of the Rings if you've not watched the whole season yet. It's trying to avoid it, and it's very hard, unfortunately. And DJI are not very good at keeping secrets. Anyway, Jasper has just tweeted literally the news that there will be a simulator. Now, I know that a large number of you have been asking for this because most of you guys out there on this channel haven't flown FPV before. This is all very, very new to you. The last thing you want to be doing is spending over $1,000 on something that you might just crash when trying to get it through a gap in a tree, which when you're training to fly FPV, we've all been there. Hey, everyone else joining in the chat. John, Clifford, Drone Phoenix, RNC Aerials, Robin, FPV, Romulus, Hugh. Great to see you guys up so early. I'm a bit sleepwalking right now. So as you can see on the screen, this is what Jesper, Jesper has shared, and it is looking pretty good. Um, RNC Aerial actually says Simulator is powered by Unreal Engine. It does indeed look like it. Now, this is great. You know, this is going to really give people the ability to have a go before they have a go. And it means you'll get the chance to crash before you actually crash and have to repair this thing. And that's just invaluable. Now, when anybody goes and transitions from GPS drones to flying FPV, one of the first things that we all recommend is a simulator. Because genuinely, if you're not used to flying FPV, you've got your goggles on, you can feel a bit of motion sickness, you can feel too immersed in the experience. It can be too much. So try a simulator first. You're not going to be necessarily um, treating it as if you would the real drone because you know it's a simulator. But my advice to you guys out there who will be buying this will be to fly the simulator as if it's the real quad. Forget the fact that it's a simulator. You're going to be flying this with your FPV goggles on. So it's going to feel very real. Sit down as well because some of you might actually fall over. But genuinely, treat it like it's a real simulator because that way you'll get into the mentality of trying to avoid to crash, trying to avoid taking risks until you're skillful and competent enough to actually take those risks and get away with it. Everyone else in the chat, I wonder if it supports the Mavic or the Phantom Controller from Henry Robotic. Really good question. It might, I suspect, be limited only to the main um, FPV system. However, wouldn't it be great if they did open it up to other users because that way it will give them a taste of FPV and maybe prompt them to buy the product. Good morning, flyby guys. Um, Robin FPV said this should help the skies raining with broken plastic bodies. Well, hopefully it might not. But yeah, this is really, really exciting. As I say, the share, the leak is from a channel, uh, sorry, a tweeter called Jasper Ellens, who's been really, really good and on the ball with this, sharing loads of other things, such as boxes all packed and ready to go out here from DJI. Hey, the grumpy vlogger, nice to see you on as well. Um, also, interestingly, he leaked that the, <laughs> the product has already been released in China. DJI, your PR and marketing is so disjointed, more so than Brexit, honestly. So apparently they released the product and announced it at a hotel in Shenzhen in China this morning. Um, you can see here the photographers showing the product. It's priced there, 7,099 yen. Regardless, they've announced the product while they're keeping the rest of the world in secrecy, waiting for the event later today but we already know what it is anyway. It's a, another disastrous launch. We say this every time, the Pocket 2, the Mini 2. We knew everything about it before it was even released. So anyway, breaking news today. Thank you to Jasper Ellens. Follow this tweeter. He's really, really good. He's not like other tweeters. Sorry, I see to LV. He doesn't just spew out everyone else's leaks. This guy shares unique stuff and he credits it as well, which is good. So... 
Yeah, and the other great news is that there will be a virtual simulator that will be able to fly in your goggles via the controller to give you a real taste of FPV before you actually crash. Um, Robin FPV says, if it's running on a computer, I'm not sure how much control DJL have over controller devices people use. Yeah, that's a good question. Maybe it won't run in the actual app. Maybe it will run on a computer, but it looks this is an app. What we're looking at now is clearly from a phone. It's a, a screen capture from a mobile phone. So I don't think this will be a, a desktop device. I think this will be a, a an app on your phone, your iPhone or Android. Let's just hope that DJI don't do what they do all too often and release it for iOS first. And then Android users have to wait three months for it. Um, yeah, really, really good. In fact, Hidi uh, says the app doesn't work on my iPhone 6, but I only have the V1 goggles and the non-DJI transmitter. Okay. Anyway, so there's our early morning breaking news stream. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And as I say, we will be back on later today when we will be going live half an hour before the official launch. So join us here. We've got six special guests, including Lexi, my on high from the FPV world and a number of other great people. We'll see you a little bit later today.